Hey guys, it is Caitlin, and today I'm coming at you guys with a first impressions video. I'm going to be trying three new products from the drugstore because I have seen them all over and I wanted to try them for a very long time and I had a gift card to Target so you know, your girl hit it up, Target is my bae. So I got three products, I'm going to show you really quick and then we are going to test them out and see if we like them or not. But before I show you, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, follow all my social medias and tune into my channel every single Tuesday so you can get your weekly dosage of me. And if you enjoy this, comment down below some more requests that you would like to see me do. And I'm sorry for background noise, my brothers are playing outside with their friends and yes, I have no makeup on right now, I am barefaced. So let's get on. So I have three products. The first thing I have is this e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer. And this is a color corrector face primer. So basically I got purple because purple makes your redness go away and it's supposed to even out your skin tone so that you don't have any redness. And I do have redness. I don't have it that bad today, which is really good. But usually I have redness on my face and I'm just a red person. I'm like a tomato, you know. So this is the e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer in the shade Brightening Lavender. Dang, they are so loud. So on the back of this, it says, this multi-purpose primer helps your skin and fills in lines, fills in fine lines, so makeup goes on evenly for a long-lasting matte finish. Ingredients help, help neutralize redness from rosacea, blemish, blemishes and dry skin so I have really dry skin and I do have redness like I said not so much today but supposedly this is a really really good product and supposedly elf primers and like color correcting because it is a color correcting primer are like the best primers they have from the drugstore so I'm so excited to try this this is six dollars from Target so it's really cheap too and we're gonna test it out. So the second product I got is a face primer. I got the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. And if you have not seen this, you are living under a rock because this is really, really talked about on the YouTube community. I got the shade 001 Transparent because I have very, very fair skin and I'm very white. And this was the lightest shade they had and I was like, hey, this should be a pretty good match. So I got this. And we're gonna try and see if it works good because I usually use the CoverGirl Clean Press Powder in the shade 130 Classic Beige, but I hit pan on it. And so I was like, hey, I'm gonna need a new powder anyway. Might as well try the most talked about powder out there. So this also says, up to five hours, natural shine control with natural minerals. Helps minimize the appearance of pores. And the third and last product is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blushes. I've heard so, so, so many good things about these blushes. And they are only $2.99 from the drugstore. By the way, this was $3.99. So $4, $6, and this was $3. So all of these are very inexpensive and very cheap and I've heard raves about these all both of these products I've heard so much about and not specifically this product but the elf primers in general I've heard so much good stuff about so I'm so excited to try them but this is in the shade 325b pearlescent pink this is what it looks like and I'm just really excited to test these out and this is cruelty free which I'm so excited about it let's not hurt animals I love animals well, I don't love animals, but I mean, I don't want to hurt them. So, um, I'm just so excited to test out all these products, and it's going to be so fun. And also, I don't know if you can consider this a first impression, but I also have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And this is a new foundation that everyone's been raving about from the drugstore. It's like $5, and it's really, really amazing. I've used it a bunch of times. I've probably used it five to seven times. I love it. It is so good. And for the price, you can't beat it. I'm going to shade nude, nude, nude Ivory. So I'm going to be doing this while I do my makeup. So this won't be a first impression, but I love this stuff if you were wondering. So I already washed my hands and I have my mirror right here. That's what this big bulky silver thing is. And we were going to get started with this primer and I'm so excited to be trying this out because I need a primer so bad. So if this works amazing, I am going to be so happy. So here is what it looks like. It's such a sleek packaging. I love it. It's just like simple, cute. Like you could put it on your desk and it'd be like, ooh, what's that? So since it's a primer, I'm going to put it all over my face, but if it was just like a plain color correcting, I would just put it on my redness spots. But since it is a primer, I'm going to put it everywhere. And it has a pump, which is super handy, which I love. Oh, wow. Look, that's like bright purple. There is a very different color going on here. This is like a bright purple. And in the bottle, it looks like it's a light purple. So I think I just did two pumps. Hopefully I didn't put too much because it looks like a lot right now. But I'm just going to blend it in with my fingertips. 
Oh my goodness, this is so, it's like velvety. I love it. Okay, I can already smell. It has a scent, but I don't really like the scent. It's not too strong, but it definitely does have a scent. And I can definitely tell that it is making my skin all feel like one solid layer with like no texture. I hope it minimizes my pores because it feels like it would. But this is so soft and velvety. Oh my goodness. First impression right now, I'm loving this. This is gorgeous on the face. And I don't think I put too much. So that is really nice. This product so far, first impression, feels really nice and velvety on the skin. Blended in with my fingers and it is so soft. So now I'm going to apply foundation and concealer. I'm not going to do that on camera because it won't be my first impression. I'm just going to use the Photo Focus Foundation and then the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I use these all the time so it's not a first impression but I love these both and I'm just going to blend them in with my sponge. So I just applied one later layer of the Photo Focus Foundation and then just a teeny bit of my concealer and I did find that it, the um, primer, the e.l.f. primer, made my skin all one color because usually when I apply this photo focus foundation, I have dark circles. They're not too bad, but I do have them. And so usually I find when I apply this, it doesn't cover them all the way up, so I usually have to go in with a lot of concealer. But today, all I had to do was one swipe, one swipe, and a little bit on my chin to try and cover my pimple. But this um, primer, I feel like, did a great job. My foundation and concealer went on flawlessly, like, super fast, too. And I just really like the way it looks. I feel like it looks airbrushed way better than it usually looks. So, I'm not saying this because it's, like, a brand new product, but I really do love this primer. Like, for first impression, first time using it, I feel like it did a great job. I do feel that there is a little bit of redness peeking out, like, on my pimple and on my cheeks a bit. But, I mean... As a primer, works really good. Correct color correcting, it's like this. But I really like the way my foundation looks. So now we are gonna go in with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So time to go in with the powder. I'm just gonna take my Emacs Design brush. These are Amazon brushes. I have these and Motto brushes that are also from Amazon, my favorite makeup brushes. And I just took the lid off and this is what it looks like. It is a fairly yellow banana tone powder. Like this is the lightest shade they have and it is the shade transparent, but it is a banana toned color. So hopefully this will be good. I'm just gonna dip in, not too much, not too much fallout, which is good. We're just gonna put it and see if it makes our skin look airbrushed or anything. So I'm gonna apply it to this half of my face to see if it makes a huge difference. And then we're gonna see if it like looks different than the other side so i do find that it is making it look more matte which i really like because i like that matte finish so overall yes the banana shade actually matches pretty good i feel like it does do a good job of setting everything so far but i like to do like um padding motions on my face and swirling motions when it comes to powder so yeah, I feel like it's doing a good job so far. The design is really cute in the powder too. It's like, it's a little fancy, fancy design. But yeah, this is a good powder so far. I'd say for, how much was it? Like three bucks? It's pretty darn good if I do say so myself. So my powder has now oxidized on my face and I feel like it did a very good job of mattifying everything. The banana shade is a very good shade for fair skin. It will probably be good for medium to dark skin also. If you want to highlight under your eyes with the powder, you could do that. And so now I'm just going to go in with bronzer and then we can go on to my blush. So I just finished bronzing up my skin a little bit. I don't apply too much bronzer, but I went in with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Tickets to Brazil number 739 and I put that on my temples a bit. And then I went in with Bahama Mama from The Balm and this is just a sample size. And I did my cheekbones a little bit. Like I said, I do not bronze that much so you probably won't notice that big of a difference. But now it is time to go in with the Wet n Wild blush and I'm so excited. I'm gonna have to figure out how to open these because my nails are looking terrible right now. You know, gotta get them redone. But I'm gonna open these, this, and then we're gonna apply it. So this is what the Wet n Wild brush blush looks like on camera. On camera, it does look a lot pinker. In real life, it is more of a salmon sparkly, salmon coral sparkly color. But on camera, it does look so super super pink. So it is not this pink, I promise. But it does have sparkles and shimmery in it, which is a pretty blush. And it comes with this little teensy 
blush brush, which I never use. The ones that come with it, these aren't good. I just have like a little drawer in my desk where I keep like the little applicators that come with it, like the little sponge ones for the eyeshadow. I just keep those all in a little drawer. And usually for blush, I use the Tarte Amazonian Clay and I apply it with a flat-headed kabuki brush. But today, I'm going to give this a fair chance and apply it with a big fluffy brush. I forget what these are called, but I'm going to do it like that. And I always apply too much brush and I don't know how pigmented this is, so I'm going to go in with a light hand. And there's a light little swatch. So I'm going to go with light hand. Okay, based on what picked up, there, this is pigmented. I'm going to put on the apples of my cheek. And I'm sorry that I'm looking at my mirror. But smile. Put on the apples of my cheekbones. This actually looks very pretty. I really like, based on what I'm seeing right now, I really like the way this is looking. Dang, these three products have pulled through today. Yeah, so I do really really love this um, blush. It is very creamy formula, which you probably wouldn't understand Okay, not creamy, buttery because you can't really have a creamy blush But it's a very buttery smooth silky kind of blush. It goes on the cheeks very nicely It has a subtle pink color and the way I'm filming I have light coming in on this way and no light from this way So you probably won't be able to tell but when I go facing the light you will be able to tell it's a very subtle like pink blush which I really like uh, I don't like poppin blush I just like a little bit I always say that but maybe it's just the way I dipped in I used a very light hand I did not go too much because I did not want to be looking like a clown I have to go to a bat mitzvah right after I'm done filming this video and getting ready but these three products really pulled through today I'm very surprised on my first impressions I'm gonna finish up my makeup and the video and then I'll show you a close-up and tell you how I'm liking the products so I am back with my makeup completely done and all of the products have been Phenomenal. This primer, bro, has made everything stick. Everything, nothing has slide. And this has taken me a good, I'd say a good 30, 45 minutes to complete my face because I like everything to look perfect. So this primer, nothing has slid, nothing has fallen off, nothing. Powder. Everything looks so good, so matte. Everything just looks really nice with this powder and I love it. It's a great shade for fair skin tone, even though it's very banana. And I really like the way it turned out. Blush, phenomenal. Slight pink color, just a teeny bit. I love it. It's so, everything is so good. This shows, this goes to show that drugstore products are just as good as high end. You can find dupes, you can find so much stuff from the drugstore that you can find high end. And this whole makeup tutorial, except for, I'd say about five items in this whole makeup tutorial were high end. The rest was drugstore, and it looks so good, especially the new products. So I am loving all of these. Primer, first impression, 10 out of 10. Powder, first impression, 10 out of 10. Blush, first impression, 8 out of 10. Because color payoff, not too much, but it's still a really pretty brush. Blush, so all of this makeup has been awesome, and I've been loving it. So thank you all so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, follow all my social medias and tune in every single Tuesday so you can get your weekly dosage of me. And if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me more comments for videos like this or different videos down below. And yeah bye until next week and I hope you enjoyed this look. Now I got to go get dressed, do my hair, put on some perfume, some deodorant, put my shoes on, and go dance my little booty off. So bye until next Tuesday.